All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Seopolis. Guys, today we're going to be having some fun with a mob spawner. I can't wait. All right, guys, so we are going to be creating a mob spawner in this quarter of our base. Uh, we've left this side kind of vacant. You know, we got the the animals over here. Uh, we got one of those areas. That's all the growth accelerators for today's episode because we're going to need lots of feathers uh, for the mob farm, but yes, we're going to be expanding out um, this direction. Ooh, a compressed guardian. That's cool. So, what we're going to need is quite a few of the mob fans, which is why we needed the feathers. That's why we set up the seeds last episode, because the mob fans, here they are. Uh, this only requires redstone. We're only going to need a total of six of these, but the upgrades, these require... A lot and so we're gonna need a total of 60 of these guys um, we can only make 15 because we're running low on iron I just realized oh my <laughs> okay so we should have enough of these guys yep we're only gonna need a total of 60 I kind of went a little overkill I made over two stacks I, I clicked too fast don't worry about it so now that we have those we need to get back into the mob uh, fans oh yeah, these guys. And then we also need some wits. Um, now, let's see. So we need a total of three of these. So we need just 18 of these. Let's see if we have enough. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Oh, by the way, I built a second one. Yeah, because this one's going to be, we're going to find a way to automate the production of molten overworld matter. Um, yeah, and then this is going to be for, like, everything else, like making... Um, these guys, but we do have enough iron in here. Cool. I did let this go running for a bit. So let us fix it. Um, all right. So there we go. We got the max widths. We're going to go here. I don't know why I got rid of that. Okay. So we don't really need to worry about height because as long as they're on the bottom, it should be okay. If we do end up needing to, you know, we can just make those guys pretty easily. The only thing I can see being an issue would be the spiders. But, you know, those don't seem to be an issue now. Okay, so... We need some more of these guys. Alright. There we go. We have all of the mob stuff here. We're going to make six of these guys. That will power those. All right, so the next thing we need is quite a bit of dirt. Uh, yeah, and then we're going to need quite a bit of the smooth stone. So that's why I set this guy up over here. I've been AFK for probably about three hours here. And uh, this guy's been making a bunch of smooth stone for us. We have 34,000 smooth stone. So we are going to be taking advantage of that. All right, so we have this guy here. Uh, we are going to need to put one... Probably the dirt is the one we need least of. All right, so this is the template I've made in a creative world. You guys get to see it here in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and we we gotta break this. Yeah, we can break this. Okay, we're gonna eventually move that to a different spot. We'll put this here for now and here. So, what we're going to want to go ahead and do is take the template, put this here, and hit paste. Failed to paste template. Okay, now it's set to it. Perfect. Okay, so I guess you have to save it into the template into that. Okay, so there we go. Copy, paste, gadget. Going to hit our special button. So, in the latest version of this pack, um, they went ahead and, I guess, kind of reset the configuration. So, I had to remap that real quick. All right, so paste. And then we're going to undo the anchor here. And we need to find a good spot for it. And I'm going to try to do it the best I can. We've got any baddies around us? we got that guy over there. we got that guy right there. All right, so we're going to need to rotate it around in order for it to work is easy one two oh 
Okay, so it's wanting us to build the way out here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get this guy dialed in. Unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna... Oh, we're in the water already. We're gonna need to build kind of out here a little bit, which is not a problem. Because uh, if we go like this, we should be able to build out here. Should probably drink some water breathing. Or this guy, whatever it is, water breathing. Doohickey. Alright, so what we're... Uh, yeah, we need to come out way more. Also, resetting the the GUI. Nope, not that, not that, not that. Okay. Alright, that should be good to anchor. We didn't anchor it. Okay. All right, so let's get here. Okay, we need to go way down. Oh, wait. Ah! Undo. Whew! I don't know why I clicked. Alright, so we may actually be good with height. Okay, open the GUI. Alright, we need one more on the X. There we go. Is that centered? Nope, we actually need one more. Okay. Wait, is that the limit? Aha. Oh, I thought it was getting, I thought it was getting chomped again. All right, so we just oh, we just need to come up one more block. There we go. And there we go. The pathway has been lined up. Perfection. Okay, so we can go ahead and click it. Is he able to find me? Oh no, he found that dolphin. Rip. Poor dolphin. Okay, looks like we still need a bunch more dirt, which is okay. We can go ahead and settle that pretty easily. And we need a whole, whole bunch more of these guys. Okay, so we are good to go on smooth stone. We're going to grab some glass here. There we go, the glass has been put in, and that thing should be completely sealed. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is kind of build a little area to, to catch any of the water that comes through. 
Then we're gonna break these guys. We'll break this dude. We'll do that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab some sea lanterns real quick because we do need those to light up the place. And having those in place while we clear the water is gonna be a big help. And then another thing that we're actually going to want to go ahead and make is called dark glass. This does not let any light through. And it's super duper cheap to make. Like that might be too much. Now if we click that, believe it's all been used, um, including the sea lanterns. Yes, sir. So now we can just run through like this. Oh boy, here we go. Do one of those. Ouch. Okay, check that out. The, uh, the water has been cleared. We still need quite a bit of dirt, actually. Okay, that's been cleared out. It even put the, the fans in for us, which is fantastic. Oh, I put the fans in backwards, though. That is a little bit of a bummer. <laughs> That's fine. We'll be able to fix that, no problem. All right. So let's go get some more dirt. We'll break this guy. Wow, that breaks quick. All right. And that should be that side sealed off. Yeah, as you can see, it's, it, it's working good. Uh, do we have the two block gap? We sure do. So spiders will be able to get pushed off of there. Now the next thing is making the mob crusher, which is going to be honestly a little difficult. And then we're probably going to have some endermen running around here for a little bit. So yeah, it's going to be. Okay, so temporarily we're going to be setting up these iron spikes. Uh, it says it drops mob mobs XP, so that'll be nice. Uh, but we do need to make quite a bit of these, is it? Yeah, it's one to one. So we're going to need quite a lot of iron swords. That theoretically should hopefully suffice. Oof, only seven though. Okay, we do have more iron being processed up here. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Sorry if this video seems a little all over the place. Um, it kind of is because there's a lot of moving parts that I did not remember. So, forgive me. We'll, we'll make it a fun video, I promise. All right, we can at least do one side, if not more. So that's good. Though if we also added in another fan on each of the sides, we'd be able to just have them all die here, which actually isn't the worst idea I've ever heard. So you can just do that. Actually, this. I'm surprised I was able to get that. Okay, so then we'll set up a fan there to push all the mobs over and into that. Look at all the mobs spawning in. Holy crap, it's pretty cool. I also need to get some half slabs up here. Okay, so we're going to try to do this fairly easily hopefully yeah the water though might make it a little difficult okay so that one's in good to go we can actually place it here we can actually fill that back in looks like someone oh shoot that's a baby you might have to fight him we don't normally fight babies on this channel, but sometimes when they get out of line, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta remind them. Oh, he died. <laughs> I 
didn't mean to remind him. That came out really bad. <laughs> okay, so I've got all of the fans pointing in the correct direction and actually turned on. They're all being, it's all pushed. We got the distance or the, the width and then the distance to get them all here pushed into this block here. So all we got to do is go around and we're going to place this here like so. We got two redstone blocks that we got to place. All right, and now that we have our... We can do that, grab the two redstone blocks. There we go, that one's on. And that one is now on. Perfecto. Okay. There we go. All right. So now if we come back on over here. Maybe let a few of them spawn. Cool thing is while I'm doing work over here and elsewhere on the base, they should be dying. Yep, as we can see, we've already got we've already got people dying. Oh yeah, so that means it's working perfectly. Look at that string, bones. What do we need for this guy? Spider eye. That's all we got. All we gotta get. Okay, I'm gonna go AFK here for a little bit, and we'll see how this thing's working. Then we'll work on a collection system. Perfect. Okay, so sorry, chickens. I accidentally killed a few chickens because an Enderman teleported. Into the chicken coop. Oh, my God. I freaking, 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 freaking. Stop it. Stop it. Where'd he go? There he is. Ah, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. This guy's foot. Oh, no, don't, don't tell part. Bat, 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 bat. Uh, oh! <laughs> Jeez, we need to make an Enderman jammer real fast. So, that's cap locks, who cares? Uh, we need this guy. Oh, Molten Blaze? How do we get there? Oh, we should have Molten we, Okay. Okay, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Put that in there. What do you mean it can be molten? Ow. Ow, Enderman, don't go in front of me. Okay, uh, how do we, how do we, how do we get the molten blaze? By a multi-press servo. Multi-press servo, we have him. Okay, there he is. Get the gear out of there. Okay. So there we go. Oh my gosh, that's going to require a lot. I should have better anticipated this. I'm sorry, everyone. We're going to need at least 100 blaze powder. We're good here. And I really hope we can just click that and get a bucket. I click it with a bucket, you know, get it out. We about to find out. Okay, so we got that here. Let's just click. Yes, we have it. Perfect. We need to have a drain on the new one. Okay. I'm going to put the drain right here because I doubt we'll need it very often uh, for, like, this one thing. We want to get that guy in there. Okay, and then... Click. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, there we go. And then now we should be able to this guy. Yes, sir. Inhibit teleportation of Enderman. We need this desperately.
Okay, that's there. Enderman, Enderman can no longer teleport. Ooh, my goodness. Did we get it? We still don't have a spider eye. I think we have to kill a spider. Ooh. But now we have ender pearls, so we can go ahead and get this thing. Oh, gosh. I looked at him, didn't I? Gonna do something smart. Ha-ha! Come at me, bro. Got him. Okay, this guy is a freaking jerk. So here we go. Ooh. 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 He's gonna kill me. Ah! <laughs> oh, he's so difficult. Alright, how much health you got? Ha! Get wrecked. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a... We type in hopper. Yeah, we should have a vacuum hopper available. Absorption hopper. This guy. Oh, we gotta make another one of those dudes. Does it require more? Oh, wow, that hardly used any. All right, so we'll make two of those. I'll grab this guy, we'll have that other one for later. Okay, absorption hopper. We're missing the normal hopper down below. Now we're not. Okay, absorption hopper, perfect. We are going to go through the chest line. No, we're not. Okay, here we go. We're going to get the iron chest. Then we're going to go for a gold chest. Then the diamond. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we can place this next to the area and i believe this absorption hopper also picks up experience if i'm not mistaken so that'll be nice um yeah so we'll place this guy here this there like that and down yes we want items to go down perfect that is exactly what we want and it does pick up experience as well so cool. This is the very like a very temporary setup, but it is picking everything up, which is what we're happy about. Okay. That's the area that it picks up in. So perfect. All right, now we're just waiting for the spider eyes. Uh, and then the quest will be complete. But I mean, that's pretty much a mob farm setup, dudes. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so check it out. Just a little bit of AFK, and we have over 10 Ender Pearls. I don't know why I didn't say 12, but we got a lot. Look at all these miniature hearts. We even got some Spider Eyes finally, so we can go ahead and complete this guy. All we got left to do is all of the woods. Eventually, we will do this. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it now. We'll just go ahead and set up a couple botany pots and call it good. All right, so super duper cool stuff going on now. Uh, we're just going to go ahead, place these here. Oh, I grabbed one more. One too many. Jungle, acacia, birch, dark oak, and spruce. So now all we got to do is let these guys grow for actually quite a bit of time. I'll just go AFK again. Um, and then like eventually, you know, we'll set up an auto, like an auto farming system over here. Um, but yeah, this is going to be expanded down quite a bit and have several floors, uh, that all look very similar to this, except, um, this layer here, um, sorry, this, this layer up here that this tall one will be the roof all the way around. Uh, and it'll go down like several floors with just a bunch of these different farming stuff. So going to go AFK for a bit. We're going to get some resources and then I'll be back with you guys. Alrighty, so enough time has passed here. We've got a stack of each. I don't know why there was so much lag when that happened, but who cares? We went ahead and finally did it. We can claim our reward. Look, guys, we did that. We finished the first one. <laughs> 
only like 400 episodes in. Oh, cool. But now we got Chisel and Bits. Uh, I'm not going to be worrying too much about Chisel and Bits because that typically adds a lot of lag. And as you can tell, we're having quite a bit of an issue uh, with lag right now already. So I don't want to really add to it. So let us go ahead and I'd like to finish this off if possible. Um, yeah, we should be able to do it. No issue. Okay. So all my buttons have been rearranged. I'm so sorry. All right, we get this guy. Um, we're going to need a water breathing potion. And then a bedroll. Cool. So bedroll, kabang. Got it. Water breathing potion. We just need a water bottle. Oh, we need to make a whole new machine for that. Now we're only we're down by one electrum plate. Good thing is we have quite a bit of electrum, and I also went ahead and made a part storage, or I guess it's a cast chest or something like that. And that's what it's called. So now we can put this in here, put this guy in there, and then once this is melted up, we'll just go ahead and toss it on in. Yes. All right, there's our extra plate. Cool beans. All right. So don't need that anymore. We need this fluid extrapolator. And then we're just going to make a new bucket for it because I don't think we get the bucket back. Okay, fluid is just trying to a little bit later. All right. So this guy goes here. We put water in with said bucket. Good thing is I got one full of water. We go like this. We get a little little bit of glass. Click, click, click. There we go. Put this guy in there. Then that fills up. Oh, that was quick. And now we can make potions of water breathing. So cool. So that quest has been completed. And we should be able to go one, two, three. Turn these into wood. Oop, not you. Make one of you. Planks. There you are. Bam, bam. All right, we need to make one more book. Good. We combine these together. And there we go. All right, what else is required? Oh, we need a factory. Okay, we can make that. I think so. So let's see here. Just missing some of these. And a factory has been completed. Is that everything? Nope. Ah, Seabucks coffee. Jeez Louise, there are so... Why do we need this? There it is. We completed the first... All right, the whole first area has been completed. What do we need here? We need a wooden crucible. That's not too difficult to make. All right, we're going to grab the rest of those. We got quite a few there, actually. Fishy. We need cooked cod and cooked salmon. Okay, those should be easy to make. Charcoal, 64 charcoal, easy to make. Terracotta, 64 terracotta. That's easy. So we should be able to knock this out right meow. All right, so now we have the fishy quests done. All right, we got both of those. Just need some charcoal now. Go ahead. Does this work? It do. Cool. It'll be quicker as well. So I've also... Let's see. We got 29. Do we have any more terracotta? I think we do. Let's take a look here. We got 15 up to 44. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right. Okay. So we have the remaining amount of terracotta. Yep, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now this should be done. Oh, it's getting really close. Do I have any more charcoal in here? 
I got two, two more. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and make the wooden crucible. So we just need to make a normal crucible, but wooden, right? <laughs> Too simple. I misclicked. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then over here, we put that in there. And then we're going to grab the seven wood. Like so. Okay, so now we should be able to make the wooden crucible. Perfect. All right, so that one is now done. Now we're just waiting for the charcoal, which is now done. Perfect. Reward. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and the drawer controller. So, yes. This allows us to see all of the items that we have in here, which is super cool. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I think we're going to leave that on. Um, it was all worth it for the, the quantity key. <laughs> so that is one and two all done. And we have a lot to do in farming and in foods. And teleports you to your spawn. And it gives us elevators. Okay, so we're not going to worry about this uh, today. Um, because we do have the ender pearls and uh, a source of wool with the string from the farm. But before we wrap up the episode, I want to go ahead and take a look at the mob farm. Because I've been... We finished the mob farm about an hour ago in real time. It's probably been much less than that for you guys. Uh, but real time, yeah, it's been about an hour. So, yeah, it's working pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm definitely liking it. Oh, we need to break this. This was from me swapping out the, the areas and stuff like that. And that isn't complete, believe it or not. Oh, neither is that. We'll have to fix... Oh, that might be Enderman. Okay, so anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and we built an amazing mob farm. I'll see you all next episode.